Hey, what's going on? It's your girl Victoria Butterby Gomes here live in Boston, World War Theater. Yeah, Tigers tour. Yo, it's crazy. We're doing it big. <laughs> What made you come out today? Are you a big Tiger fan? Actually, come on, man, Rack City. I make rack, rack, rack. That's all I'm about. That's one of my um, my anthems. I say he made that song pop, and I'm all about it. But um, Tiger's my dude. I know I'm on the other side. You know what I'm saying? So we good peoples out here just chilling. I'm supporting my dude. Like I said, I'm just out here chilling, seeing what's up. I never been out here. Good vibe. All right, so you guys ready for the concert? Hell yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah, T-Rock. So are you guys from down here? No, we're from Maine. We came all the way down here to see Tiger. So y'all came down today? Yeah, today. Oh wow. So what is it about Tiger that you guys like? His flow. He's got a new flow coming up. I don't know. I'm pumped. I'm pumped right now. His new album too is dope. It's unreal. Everything since well done. Everything since then's just been nasty. So he's just killing it right now. We're hoping he plays some old stuff, a little bit of well done, you know, some of that. He's sick. <laughs> so are you guys a real fan of Rack City? Ah, uh, yeah, but I don't know. It's kind of got blown over now, but we're still in it. We're still in it. All right. Well, you heard it here live from Hip Hop Real Estate. Alright, so are you guys here from Boston, Mac? Yes, we're going to Oh wow, y'all look pretty close, okay. Oh, okay. What about Tiger that you guys like? Everything from Rack, Tattoo, I like all the music. Oh. So what do you guys expect from this concert today? What's music that Tiger has out right now that you guys think is just the top notch? Definitely the Careless World. That like tells us a lot about how he like growed from like from like his early mixtapes to his album. It's like it's great music. Do you think the same thing? Careless World, yeah. Especially he went really hard on Careless World, so I really like it. I'm not gonna play that. Well, I've been a Tiger fan for a great I say Careless World, Pound Keep, Come to Shit, Well Done 2, Well Done 1, Black Thoughts, all of that. Fuck God, man. From knowing, from I raise your underage, son. It's a big come up for him. Big come up. All right, so it seems like Careless World's won it all. Number one rap album out right now. He's doing it big. Your boy Tiger. Yes, YMCMB. So this right here is Young Money, Cash Money, Two Million Dollar Corporation. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your girl Butter B from Hip Hop Real Estate. We're here live at Tiger's Tour. 
We're here with a new artist, Honey Cocaine. Give it up for Honey Cocaine. So, how did you meet Tiger? I saw you doing your thing up there. I met Tiger through um, YouTube. Well, actually, he's seen my video on YouTube, and then he hit me up on Twitter, and he was like, yo, I like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm hearing, we gotta work. So he was in my city, starting tour with Chris Brown, the fitting tour, and we met up and we talked about it, and then it was a go from there. So what songs do you have out there? Do you have any albums, any records? Well, I have two collaborations with Tyga, Heisman 1, Heisman 2, and then I got a mixtape called Fuck Your Feelings. I dropped that on Valentine's Day this year. All right, so is there anyone else that you've worked with other than Tyga after you met Tyga? I worked with Tiana Taylor. We got a song called Bad Boy, produced, produced by DJ Mustard. And collaborations, they're, um, they're in the works right now. So when did you start rapping? When I start rapping? When I was like eight years old, the third grade, I was just listening to Tupac and shit. And I was like, yo, like he's crazy. Like, like it just was so appealing to me, so interesting. And like, I just love it. Like ever since I heard rap, I want to do it. I want to do it as well. So is Tupac the person that inspires you? Yeah. Well, he he was the one who like, who's, I started listening to Tupac and he like, yeah, he basically inspired me up to this day. All right then. Well, you heard it here live from Hip Hop Real Estate. Well, Honey Cocaine, you stay tuned. She's doing big things real fast. Don't miss out. You wouldn't want to miss out on this one. Girl, Honey Cocaine, shout out to Hip Hop Real Estate. I'm some swag type shit. Huh. Plus, uh, why you made it out here tonight? Tiger is fucking the man, you know? Like, like he doesn't, he's not like, you know, he's or any of them, but like, he's, his rap, I listen to him every day. I'm like, you know what? You came from here, you came from here. And you're, you're here, you know? And like, people come from nowhere, and they come, they, they come here. And that, that's absolutely amazing. I think that's like one of the best things in like a rap world. Like you come from nowhere and you come from here. And you and like I think that's the most amazing thing in the entire world. Like you 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 dedicate your life to whatever you love. And I think Taika he dedicated his life to this and this concert. He dedicated his life to that concert. He dedicated that life to his life to that concert. And I think it's amazing. All right, so you're talking about Tiger coming from here to here, and I know a lot of people just recently started hearing Tiger. So when did you start noticing Tiger? I started noticing Tiger when he was like, just you know, here, you know, and like you don't, you don't come from, you don't, you, you know, like Weezy, he's amazing, but he didn't come from nowhere. Like he came from somewhere on the bottom line. He can't, he needs up at the top, but like you know, you you come from someone like Rihanna too, like you know. You come from the bottom of the top, you go to the top. And I think I think like the same thing. I think he is amazing. I, that's why I'm here. I'm supporting him. I hope he makes it to the top. I hope he makes it to the top. So how old are you? I'm 20. 20. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well you heard it here live from one of his fans. Kelly pulled us over and you clearly want Tiger to know a little something, something. So what do you want Tiger to know? I want to know that not only Hummy Cocaine can bring it down to like you know what I'm saying? Bring it out to the rap. But then again, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Different nationality can bring it down. So, you're saying keep it up, though. Keep it up, because we love you. <laughs> so, how y'all feeling right now? I feel, I'm waiting for Tiger, okay? I'm waiting for Tiger to come on this stage, okay, so I can see my man, okay? <laughs> and live, what do you guys want Tiger to know? I love him so much! We love so him. Much. We love Tyga. And what do you guys love about Tyga? He's everything. sexy. I love his so sexy. Tattoos. So everything. Oh. We love Tyga. Seriously. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All three y'all. That's nice. Show some love. We got Team Tyga in the house. Y'all want anything to say to Tyga? Y'all got anything to say? We love you, Tyga. We love you, Tyga. Team Tyga watching all day. All right. Whatever. Say whatever. What do you want Tiger to know? Tell him he's a boss. He's the he's boss. boss. How is he the boss? Because he's the chef. Tiger right there. <laughs> all right, all right there. so he got Tiger in big letters. He's oh, yeah. the boss. What about his music? What's so, good, what's so big about his music? It's fantastic. Yeah. The message that he conveys through it, or what is it? 
Everything. You love his Unexplainable. Beat. Unexplainable. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, you heard it here from one of his fans. <laughs> Crowd going crazy, crowd going crazy. Can't wait for Tiger to come out. This place gonna be going nuts when Tiger comes out. We all last king, baby. We all Thank you.